Welcome back everyone. There are two things Dave Talent doesn't leave home without his wheelchair and a smile on his face. More than 15 years after his truck was smashed and dragged by a train, he's still living life to the fullest. An update on this survivor in tonight's Someone to Know. That's the answer. Straight on Think your workout was hard today? Try doing this. Dave Talent is more than tough. He has true grit, too. My story is very unique, I would say. And you just might remember it. More than 15 years ago, Dave's life was very different. He was a three-sport AP student athlete at Hug High School. But the night of January 7th, 1998, everything changed. It was Dave's birthday, and he was out near Painted Rock celebrating. I was crossing the track at night. There was no stop sign, no railroad crossing. It was on private property. I got hit by a train in my truck and pushed a mile down the track. Miraculously, he walked away from the accident, but still needed surgery. I broke three ribs. One of them punctured my aorta, and they had to go in and fix that, and I got paralyzed from that. And Dave hasn't walked since. I was full of hatred for a long time, for a couple years post-accident. It's very difficult for me. But over time, he's pushed himself to get back out there and do the things he loves, like training hard. We caught up with him for a brutal workout at Functional Athletic Sports Training in Reno. I look forward to it. I'm a workout warrior. I like doing a lot of different things. I get bored really easy. So trainer and longtime friend JJ Milan finds ways to switch it up for him. At first, JJ says he was worried about what Dave could and couldn't do, but told me he quickly realized Dave doesn't want special treatment. He's an athlete still. He still is. He wants to compete. He wants to train hard. He wants to work hard and a wheelchair is not going to stop him. In fact, he competes in jujitsu, he skis, and plays wheelchair basketball too. People often ask how he does it with that big smile on his face, to which he answers. Because there's always somebody worse off than you, and it can always get worse. Which is why Dave lives life now with a positive attitude and hopes his words and actions inspire others to do the same. Be the best I can be every day and value every day uh, as much as I can. And Dave's spinal cord still intact. He has sensation from head to toe, in fact, so he tells me he's confident someday he'll walk again. Until then, he's not taking anything for granted.